Welcome to Diving Deep with Deepak and Dara, where we make the deep relatable and translatable into your life. Our body really is such an instrument that teaches us so much and is a, it's such an access point for us to understand a lot of what's really going on internally. It's our emotions are physically demonstrated in the way that we feel. And it's really important for us to stop and tune in to how is your body feeling and how can I tap into that to make sure that it's like you've talked about a joyful body. So I'm curious, you talked about... So again, you know, use that as a metaphor, right? Because the body is not a thing. It's not a noun. It's a verb. It's an activity. And as an activity, your experience of it is in the form of sensations. That's it. If I close my eyes, the only knowledge of my body is how it feels right now. So if I was in totally perfect health, which I think I am, then when I close my eyes, there's no experience of body at all. If you were... Um, feeling a little heavy, then it would feel heavy. We use these metaphors, light. It would feel light, joyful. It would feel joyful. Okay, so the body is a mirror of what's happening in consciousness all the time. And it's an activity. It's a program of sensations, images, feelings, thoughts, perceptions, what I would call a qualia program. Qualia is quality of awareness. Well, it's an interesting example because we often say that we can feel something in our hearts or in our guts. What does that really mean? Well, the heart has um, neurons just like the brain has. The famous philosopher Blaise Pascal said, the heart has reasons that reason does not know. Similarly, when people say, I have a gut feeling about such and such, the gut makes the same chemicals that the brain makes when you feel something. So actually, this whole idea that the brain is here in the skull is, in a way, not correct. And actually, we have to get rid of the idea even that the cells are things or that our body has parts. You know, that's how we were trained. There's a liver, there's a heart, there's a kidney. But that's looking at it very superficially. When you look at the liver, kidney, uh, stomach, brain, whatever, you realize it's made up of tissues and the tissues are made up of molecules, the molecules are atoms, atoms are particles, particles are waves of movement. The whole thing is one holistic movement. What we call a little body part is actually an activity of the whole. And when we really low, go deep, deep enough, it's the activity of the total universe. And it's all self-regulating by itself. The mind only speaks in English with an Indian accent in the brain. <laughs> it speaks everywhere without any accent. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you want to hear more, enjoy a free masterclass with Deepak and myself on living a more meaningful life, along with a guided meditation at dara.co slash Deepak. You can also subscribe to our channels, comment below, let us know what you loved, what you'd love to hear more of, or follow us on Instagram and Twitter where we'll share daily knowledge droppings at Deepak Chopra and at Darabee. See you next time.